and welcome back to my channel. So today, I literally was meant to film this video when I was in the house and then I just ran out of time. So I was like, I'm gonna do like a drive with me, like chit chat type of vibe. I do apologize if the noise is just a bit intense, you know, because I know sometimes in my car videos, the engine just sounds like I'm genuinely driving a truck, but I'm not, I promise. But yeah, today, I just wanna quickly talk to you guys about sleeping on your own potential like that is something that I think we all subconsciously do like I literally sleep on myself so much like I know within like the next five years my life is going to be completely different I know that like me and God have had these conversations with each other obviously I'm not going to talk too much I feel like I actually speak a lot louder than words but sometimes I will look at like my right now and where God's gonna take me I'm like but how but it's just like he a thousand percent can take us wherever we wherever he wants to take us he he's the God of the heavens the earth and the universe do you know what I mean so he can literally take us anywhere so I just wanted to come on here and like just give you guys a bit of encouragement give you guys a little bit of a Motiv not a motivational speech but you know just give you guys a little bit of encouragement like do not give up on yourself don't look at your current circumstances right now and think yeah man like this is going to be me for life because it's definitely not um obviously you plan you prepare and you execute without a plan like the bible says without a plan the people perish do you know what i mean everybody needs a plan christians non-christians we all need a plan we need prayer because we need god to back us up you know if you're not a christian and you're watching this i do apologize but we do need prayer because we do need the backing of christ we need we need him behind us do you know what i mean why in front of us to lead our steps and we need to execute you know the bible also says plan um faith without works is dead you can be sitting there and saying yeah 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 i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this but is that is that's all you're doing sitting there and saying i want to do this i want to do that i want to do this yeah i'm doing the jack nothing i can tell you that for free and you know with me now like being 25 and you know living life and all of them fun things there it's like i genuinely thought like i'd be 25 i'd have nine businesses i'd be married with i've got the kids do you know what I mean? I got the kid, but I don't have my nine businesses. I'm not, I don't have my marriage, but it's a vibes where I know, like my husband as well. I don't even think I've met him, but marriage is not what we're talking about right now. But yeah, like I just want to encourage you guys, man. Like, don't look at your circumstances right now. The Bible also says, and the Bible says, <laughs> this is kind of like get this hooligan away. But the Bible also says, um you know trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding like don't lean on what you can see now don't lean on what you understand because what you don't realize is god knew us from when we was in our mom's womb do you get it like god knew us from before time he knows every mistake you're about to make he knows every win you're gonna have every hour you're gonna have you know so just keep on going keep on praying and keep pushing forward on yourself stop sleeping on your own potential just know whatever your insecurity is surrender it to god whatever you're thinking ah oh, but but this but that just surrender it to god you know how many times that i felt incapable like with this you with my youtube channel like i wanted to start youtube from about two 2013 2014 i used to be obsessed with youtube i wanted to start youtube and uh, so mum said to me nah it's not adapting like it's not adapting and that person that said that to me at the time i really valued their opinion so i was like yeah like i'm not gonna do it and then it was just on my heart on my heart on my heart and then because in my city i kind of keep myself to myself although i am very known I do keep myself to myself, so I was like, who is even gonna watch me? Like, no one is gonna watch my team. But yeah, there's nothing, oh, I love that noise. Yeah, there's nothing that God, like, if you cast your cares onto God, there's nothing that he cannot make easier. There's nothing that he cannot turn around, you know? So whatever your insecurities are, the reason why you, that you may be thinking, one minute mamas the reason that you may be thinking that nah, i actually can't do this now nah, like the, i can't do this because this that and that every obstacle that you see give it to god and i promise okay. you i promise you that 
it will be okay like I was put in a situation and I know it will be okay because when I got pregnant with Z I was put in it was the unknown it was the absolute unknown not Z in my business Z can you get back in your chair no. say hi guys it was the unknown but I literally give that situation to God and he literally blessed my life Isabel is such an unknown and that's another story of itself he literally blessed my life and I know the calling on Isabel's life is so big and that's why myself I need to make sure I'm in position as well because I don't want anything I do to be detrimental to Isabel like spiritually do you know what I mean I don't want her to have to deal with any generational curses because of things that I've done so if you're watching this I know I'm going in five different directions but if you're watching this and you want to like I just want to say you don't need to sleep on yourself I just want to say like the think about all right do this for me think about the person that you look up to the most the person that you would love to wake up and literally live their life think about that person right I'll use an example let's say Jackie Aina because she's like a massive youtuber she's got she's a mat like I love me a bit with Jackie Aina or Aaliyah J really silly open the door yeah. give me two seconds realistically Jackie Aina and Aaliyah J are no different to me do you know what I mean they're no different to me if you look at their stories and all of that they started off where I started off do you know what I mean? They started off either at the same level as me or even Mother like because of technology, me. like my things a bit more. Do you know what I mean? Because they started off recording on their iPhone 4s and whatnot. Do you know what I mean? They're actually no different to me. And if God can bless them, if God can I like bless their me. hands and they can be so good at what they do, imagine what he can do to me if I just allow him. I think sometimes we and why we get I think sometimes the reason that we get so burnt out and so like demotivated is because we look at things in our own strength we look at things like oh I can't do this because I can't do this but if you realize like God he, my Lord and Savior one sec guys oh, about, yeah, yeah. sometimes we get overwhelmed and sometimes we get burnt out because we we're trying to do things in our own strength we're trying to do things and we look at them and we think how am I gonna do this but if you just change your mindset and look at it like yo God has got this under control. God is going to blow my mind. God, I trust you. God, I thank you for where I'm at right now because it's a humbling season. It's a, it's a, you know, you're, I understand that to be able to be relatable to everybody I've got to be able to relate to the homeless man and the man in the penthouse I can't just wake up one day and be successful it's a process and for me I'm learning to fall in love with the process I know the promise already I know what God has promised me already do you know what I mean and I struggle so much oh my gosh oh uh, you don't understand some of the struggle I will literally edit for like four hours straight guys and I'll just be like is there even any point like does anyone even care about this vlog but God just says carry on just keep pushing just keep pushing just keep yeah. pushing and I'm here to tell you keep pushing keep on going keep on pushing oh, ah, there's no ah, ah, way oh, ah, God called you on this earth I don't care who you are I don't care if right now you're sleeping in your car I don't care if right now you just broke up with somebody and you're feeling worthless upset hurt oh i like i don't care who you are god did not call you on this earth to pay bills and die god did not call you on this earth to live a life of poverty why would he do that why would he do that the all and that's why it's important to know god for yourself it's important to know who jesus christ is because when you know him and you know his um what's it called his characteristics you know he wouldn't do that like not to come off topic again but like i was having a conversation with someone from my church and there was like you know when people just sin too much you know god just you wash wow he's like when people just sin too much god would just wash their hands on them no he didn't say wash their hands let me i don't want to paraphrase i'm paraphrasing but it was along these lines he's like god will just leave like god will end up just leaving like if you're in sin he would just leave you there's only so much he can do and brother I just have to say, bro, I do appreciate that, but show me scripture. Show me, show, show me, show, don't be scared, show me the scripture. Don't be scared, show me the scripture. And it's not about, like, God will never leave you. Obviously, we've got free will. We definitely have free will, so he's not going to force himself on you at all. Like, 
not my father i don't need to beg no friend but if you seek him you will find him do you know what i mean and it's a vibes where if i didn't know god for myself when i was having that conversation with the boy i would have been like oh my gosh like it's gonna wash my hands on me but it's no because it's a vibes where i know god genuinely loves me unconditional there's nothing i can do to out sin god it's impossible do you know what i mean there's nothing i can do where god's gonna be like you know what leah i can't i don't want to talk to you no more you know what i mean you go straight to house i want to talk to you and the same with you there's nothing you can do if you seek him i promise you you will find him um so yeah this is just a quick word of encouragement guys stop sleeping on yourself pick up your pick up yourself dust yourself off and try again because i promise you with my heart my soul my mind and my body you wasn't called to just live a regular life and die you wasn't you have a divine purpose on this earth you have there's a reason that you're born in this generation there's a reason that this generation needs you and you just need to find out what that reason is plan prepare and plan prepare and conquer i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you comment below <laughs> I love you so much. And yeah, I love you. Bye. We'll speak soon. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.